Hello and welcome back. This is part one of a new series of videos on the Krita 5.0. Many of you asked me to do a tutorial showing the steps needed to make sure that your computer can work with Krita. So let's get started. We are on Krita's homepage. Click on the button Get Krita Now. Before clicking on the Installer button, it is important that you make sure that your computer is powerful enough to run the software. This will avoid multiple and unpleasant software crashes. Under the Windows Blue Installer button is a drop-down menu that will tell you the system requirements. In a minute, I'll show you exactly where to find this information on your computer, but before we get to that, I would like to mention an important matter. Not all graphics tablets are compatible with Krita. As you can see here, they have listed a few. To find out if your tablet can work with Krita, you will need to go to Krita's manual. For your convenience, I have added the link in the description box. On this page, you will see a list of all the supported tablets. As you can see, as I scroll down the page, not all tablets are compatible with Krita. Some have been reported to be broken, while others are listed as supposed to work, and finally others are supported. If you are using another operating system such as OS for your Mac computer or Linux, do not use the blue button to download the software. Click on the next drop-down menu. Click on the link that I provided you in the description box. In the drop-down menu, select Requirements. Type Krita in the search box and hit the search button or hit Enter. Click on the picture. We are going to work within the window that says Can my PC run Krita? If you click here, you will find instructions that will help you to find what type of processor your computer runs. So let's do it. Right-click on the Windows icon. Select System. Here is the device specification area. And here is the processor information. I can also see that my system type is 64-bit and my Windows edition is 11. Finally, I can see that my computer has 32 GB of RAM. We are almost done. The last step is to find what type of graphic card our computer runs. Again, we are given instructions on how to find the information. Let's do it. Right-click on the Windows icon. This time, choose Device Manager. The display adapters is here. Click on the drop-down menu. As you can see, I have several graphic cards. I'll choose this one. The only thing left to do is type the information in the proper box. We are ready to test the computer. Click on the blue button, Can I run it? Depending on your computer, the process may take a few seconds to a few minutes. And here it is. Yes, I can run Krita. 
I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful as always. Thank you so much for watching. Next time we'll download the software together and I will show you how to save the predefined documents and how to remove them. So I'll see you next time. Until then, au revoir et à bientôt.